She is a pioneer in the construction industry, and of course, she has her own boss. She's the newest member of the Real Housewives of New York. Barbara Kay is who we're talking about. She's tonight's change maker. Change makers, brought to you by Adapt Community Network, empowering people through innovative solutions, one person at a time. We change. With her crystal-covered hard hat and dirty heels of steel, this is one woman who's a trailblazer. Barbara Kavavit is the CEO and founder of Evergreen Construction. Her recent clients, to name a few, Carnegie Towers and Bandier. Her love of building things started when she was a kid in the Bronx. My dad came home with two by fours, and we lived in a small two-bedroom apartment. It was my sister and I, and my mom and my dad. And he said, "Come on, Barb, we're going to build some bunk beds so your sister and you have more room." Well, I helped my dad build these bunk beds for the next three weeks, and then helped him install them into this into our bedroom and now I'm sleeping on them. I mean, what a feeling of self-esteem. Barbara studied finance in school, but it's when she hit the pavement to pursue her passion that things really took off. I stood outside in a shopping center in Scarsdale and I went up to women while they were carrying like big bags of groceries. And I said, are there any home repairs or improvements that you need done in your house? And that was just the start. Years later, Barbara founded Anchor Construction and grew that company into one of the largest female owned contracting companies in New York. I feel like a pioneer Year, and that's great for me because I want to help pave the way for other women who might want to go into male dominated fields. Barbara also wanted to help empower women with construction projects, so she created her own line of tools called Diva, wrote two home improvement books, and now a third book, this novel called Heels of Steel. How did you have time to do that? I tell you. <laughs> <laughs> I've been busy. I've been busy. But and after some hesitation, she joined the Real Housewives of New York. Stay out of it. Make me. So what made you decide to say yes? And I thought it was really important to get my message out as a single mom, a working mom in New York City in a male-dominated field. But I think it ended up with a really good season, and I think you'll get a, a taste of, you know, how everybody interacts together. How you build. Yes. How you build relationships. Yes. <laughs> uh, anybody... Well, she is great, right? Well, if you know somebody who might make a good change maker, reach out to me at facebook.com slash Tamson Fidel. I don't know how people balance so many things. But I know. It's incredible. Yep.